And I apologize for the microphone. And here we go. Be no black, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're having a good holiday season. Okay, now, one are you. Don't ever forget. Write this on your hand or write it in a notepad somewhere. Put it in your telephone book. Put it anywhere you want. Okay, recipe book. Put it somewhere where you can know that, okay, one are you, astronomical unit, is 92.96 million miles to the Nat's ass. Okay, to the Nat's ass. 92.96 million miles. Okay, now ballparking and rounding off. Okay, then we have our items. Now, proportional integral derivatives, and yes, NASA and ESA are not the only people that could put a missile on any planet in the universe, okay, or in the Milky Way galaxy. Number one, lots of people could put a rocket or a satellite around any planet in our solar system. It's pretty damn easy. If you can put a rocket around, there's complications. There's lots of secrets that NASA knows. There's lots of things that NASA does not know yet. Okay, now number one, this is the current distance right here, bam, of Venus. Okay, 1.5 roughly, all you away. So remember what I told you to write down and back up the video. Okay, that's your distance. Venus is a long damn way away from Earth. Sometimes it's damn close. That's right. Above a quarter of an IU, sometimes Venus is from Earth. Remember the corkscrew? You see the corkscrew as Venus and all the planets in the solar system rotate around the sun. Okay? Uh, this is basically a history. Remember, this is the distance from Earth of Venus distance currently. Okay? All right. So, 142.3 million miles, okay? That's bigger than the number I gave you a little back up the video. You see you're supposed to be writing this stuff down, you're supposed to keep up, okay? Now, now we get to go to our footage. And then when you get to ballpark, remember, just round it off at 1.53 IU right now, which is basically got your answer for you right there. Forget about your calculator and everything like that. 142 Point three million miles, okay? And then we have... Now, yes. Astronomers have a name for this object. And I'll remember, we found one back up here also in the darkness of deep darkness of space that actually, since it's so damn far away, that it's actually bigger than this big meatball here, okay? So it's been around for ages. Everybody that's been watching Soho cameras knows this stuff's here. NASA won't talk about it. They keep covering it up with color and so forth and so on. Now I need to hit play because basically I apologize about that. Now... What's good about this planet that we ended up finding down here, and basically, i.e., if you've paid attention to my videos, I named it the idea that the meatball found it. Now, I also found a black object, and I made a video, and then I'm going to upload that today, too. There's another great find of something that I found on another one of the arrays from in the big out, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to every branch of the U.S. military, okay? And our comrades around the world, okay? Merry Christmas to the whole world. Especially my, uh, and also Happy New Year to, and I'll be talking hopefully to the kids on the phone, Junior, and, sh and that's, i got to bite the tongue, my daughter, okay, so, uh, uh, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and I've been calling, Mom needs to pick up the phone, I guess, maybe she hasn't paid her phone bill, who knows, excuses, excuses, they're like, you know what, holes, everybody's got one. She's got a bunch of them. She's got a bunch of holes she can't cover up on now, it sounds like. So anyway, yep, it's ugly. And not really, honestly. The, th the deal is we both love our kids just the same. It's just the idea that she didn't get any of the money. So the idea that she's figuring it with the other underhanded people that she's going to try to get some hands on some money somewhere, good luck because I'm flipping broke. So anyhow, always will look like that. So intangibly wealthy. It's very easy. You can say it out loud every day. You look it up in the dictionary. I'm intangibly wealthy. Beyond smart. Okay. So now, what we've got is Earth up here. Okay. Which basically get, kind of gets masked out. Don't freak out. This is not Earth down here. Basically, like I said in the last video. But what's great about it is quadrant. You see, this is pretty much dead in line with Earth. Remember how we've seen all these magneticals lining up and everything like that? And in, somewhat in conjunction with the magnetical distances that we end up seeing on a lot of those 
magnetical lines on a lot of planets that we know that are there. You know that's why everybody's watching the videos. A, a ton of people are watching them. And forget the counters, okay? The counters, I've proven a long time ago that the idea that there's tons of actual, scientific, very easy data that you can sit here and look with your eyes. Now, I gave you the numbers. You can get in your own mind of how what you figure how huge and huge ass as someone said and there's lots of people that have all kinds of different con comments when you get to be big it's got colossal huge giant I mean go get the dictionary how many words is there for big there's lots of words for big that you can use okay start making smart ass comments and put that in there and everything like that and then the people that come in and spam it's like there's nothing here move along children and all stuff like that I mean it's scientific fact okay uh, there's plenty of parents in the United States of America that would love to have their kids ahead of their other kids that are in the block or the city, the county, or the whole country or the world. The idea that they need to know what stuff in space is actually going on. This is actually, you know, you need a younger scientists, the better. Okay? This is physics. This is uh, astronomy at its best. Telescopes, the whole nine yards. Uh, we can blow in on this and you'll see stars, okay? This is not, everybody will have their, well, this, 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 that. I can blow on this stuff any day of the week and I've showed plenty of absolute that it's all, not all, there's planets here, okay? So you get to have the numbers there that's easy for you not to have to go digging up and then you can dig it up yourself. Go check my numbers that I just showed you and as they are and then if, do you see any other meatballs out there? <laughs> Do you see anything else that kind of looks round and it looks huge? That's just, don't remember, it's all your eyes. Don't let your eyes get fooled. Now, no matter what, this is Earth up here, okay? It's blacked out, okay? As we move back down, it's repetitive from the last video, but you have to realize that I'm showing you the quadrant here now, okay? So no matter what, even though there's massive distance, possibly, that's a gap between the un-not directly lined up object that we have right here that the cowboy meatball helps us find by static electrical in space, okay, in an atmosphere. Kind of screwed up there because basically I stopped the recording, but there it would pop back out real fast. Okay, see, I'm all on the same screen here, okay? They're not, there's no magic tricks here. So, when we, since we have this new planet that we found down here, and it is, believe me, it's it's not brand new, it's just the idea that there's tons of stuff, and, and then NASA, then why haven't you been telling it? You keep on playing these little uh, three-card money games for the idea of there's a new planet found this many lights that we're never going to get into. Okay, this is distances that we could travel, okay, here, and plus all the, so the objects that we've seen. Now, anything close to the sun, yeah, forget it, but see, now we ended up with a planet here that's Venus here and then Earth there, So and we all rotate around, so yes, this thing is quite close to the... Uh, and then there's plenty of stuff. All this stuff that you're seeing in this massive distance, realize how huge this thing is, okay? Now, the number one thing is see, you have a quadrant, okay? So in a straight line, Earth is up here like this. This is why they didn't want you to see Earth, pretty much, okay? And that's why my sound's probably, because I can really hear myself lisp a lot. They always mess with that, my audio. You quadrant this, just round it off. It's close enough in line just to keep it in line for a figure. And actually, just look at it this way. You should actually add a little bit because the the factual in your eyeballs, you're seeing that it's to the left of what Earth is pretty much right about there where my pointer's at, okay? So, you get a, you can get a figure by ballparking it off, okay, well, let's, okay, it's perfectly pretty much centered there at a point in time in this video, in the, tw did we get 24 hours, and really, okay, now we did get 24 hours of tape that day, okay? Now, yes, it's pretty much conclusive since that object that you see, the bright object here, rotates counterclockwise that the idea that more than likely the meatball is counterclockwise also so it's been up here to the side of the sun it didn't come around in front of the sun it came as earth is here and we're looking at the sun whenever you're sitting dir with yourself directed east towards the sun even if it's in the middle of the night you know that this stuff this here is up here on your right hand side it rotates counterclockwise, so its rotation is it will rotate and go out here as far as it's magnet magnetically going to be allowed to in our solar system, and then it's going to come back around in a big circle, okay, and then it'll end up coming back around again. Now, see, the only thing that you would be concerned with is the idea that, yes, I have showed you plenty of evidence that stuff might possibly bump and run on the sun, okay? You see it a lot of times with flares and so forth and so such, okay? We had a lot of 
uh, C-class flares coming off the sun just recently on the backside. It was calm for a long time. Okay, now it's electrical static. It could be an IU away. Okay, i.e., this has got to be. And then I'll, let's go ahead and give you a distance from what Venus is right now from the sun, and the sun is over here, and it's huge. Okay. Now, I've already given you, you just figured out for yourself, ballpark. I'm not even going to give you an answer what I figure how big this object is, because right there it's perfectly centered between Venus and it, this planet that it finds, and then you know Earth is here, so then you have a quadrant where you can give yourself, with the figures I gave you, you can get a pretty good ballpark idea how huge the meatball is. Space Cowboys, that's the meatball, we don't talk about that. Duh. Okay, and then we remember we found that big ass meatball up here too. When the when over the object that was pretty close to the same size as Venus, and it's been hanging around up by the sun. Okay, and now they're starting to let us see a little bit more of the uh, atmospheric reaction. Basically, the rotation of Venus. They're starting to let us see the black a little bit on the side because basically we found that object right in front of this luminosity here. So this is not going to fake us out over here to the right that's being colorized in there now. They can just play with the color a little bit and go it's like, well, this will kind of throw them up. No, it's not going to throw the actual fact that when we, when, it, when Venus was just like that there, we found an object in front of it. Okay? And it's in front of it, and it was transient with the sun. Okay? So, we pretty much got the numbers that you can figure there, and let's go ahead and I'll give you a Venus to sun size, and then you'll realize that, yes, this thing is that damn huge. And it does rotate counterclockwise, just like Earth and everything else. Venus is the only thing that rotates clockwise in our that we know of. Now, there's more objects in our solar system than we know of now, since I've been finding and showing you that what we can see from these cameras, it sure proves it. We've got evidence. Every one of my videos proves it. The idea there's way more stuff in our solar system. That's right, around the sun, magnetically rotating and there's massive distance. You remember, I just gave you the mileage of what the distance is between the sun and earth. And remember, we're in the fall solstice and we're actually a little bit closer for a fall solstice, winter solstice right now, okay? Winter solstice that we're in, we are in all to man's knowledge pretty much the closest IU distance away that we know of on our data to the sun in a winter solstice. And it's been that way in the summertime of recent too. The droughts, so forth, so on. Dirty 30s, this isn't the first time we've been around here. 365 point some days in a year we go rotate, that's our calendar, around the sun. Okay, But the sun is traveling through the Milky Way galaxy at at least 70,000 miles an hour. And we follow it at like around 66,000 miles an hour now, Earth does. Okay, So you're getting real good data, real good natural, any power to be whoever you whatever want to be call it is showing you how big stuff is out in space and finding planets and the solar system our solar system has a lot more in it than just the the eight or nine planets that we know of and they say Pluto ain't a planet well Mercury is not a planet it's a flipping moon okay now remember all this stuff is between this huge object and the SOHO satellite telescope cameras okay and remember, Venus looks huge because it's close to the camera, okay? And this looks quite huge, too, but the idea you get a good perspective of size by alignment. Straight line from Earth, which is Earth is right here, down to this object here, okay, that has an atmosphere that electrical statically gets aroused by either the meatball and or the sun's CME action, okay? Static electrical in space. So let me give you a distance from Venus to the Sun here at the very end of the video and realize that all this, there's so much distance out there that yes, all this stuff is in front of this huge object between there and the SOHO camera that's taking this off the telescope, okay? The basically cameras on the SOHO satellites up there in space, okay? And yeah, so all this stuff gets illuminated by the supergiants and the sun, as you see, because this is in a direction where it blocks off a lot of light curvature from the sun. Don't get me wrong, it's still, still getting it. But this stuff is all, that's correct, this stuff is all between the satellite and that huge object that's going by, okay? And those are stars, as you see, that we glimmer in onto. We get damn good photos of it, okay? So I'll give you the distance from Venus to the sun. And then you've got a lot of data to go on seeing how huge stuff is out there in space and the, how far you can see it on these cameras. Okay, there's your mileage, okay? And then basically we go back to the footage real quick. And so that was from the Venus to the Sun. That's your distance. Remember, 
the Voyager satellites, they've just been realizing that the idea that the solar system is bigger than what they thought because they still haven't completely been out of the solar system yet. They are trying to get out of the solar system. The Voyager